Hello, I'm Tessa, um, and I literally just wanted to sit down and do makeup, so that's what we're gonna do. I know I wanted to do a sunset, but I don't have like a pretty pink color. I have, I have a lot of like browns and neutrals and oranges, but I don't have any like really solid pink colors. Oh, also I bought a new blush because mm. <laughs> that elf one was a joke. I don't know which one should I do. Which one do you like? I like that one. That one looks complicated. It does? Yeah, I kind of like that one. Yeah, do that one. The one, uh, that one. Okay. I figured out what I wanted to do. My lids don't have a whole lot of space though. When I open my eyes, you, the color kind of gets lost. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, first, I got a little, um, Tarte primer in like an Ipsy bag. It's the Tarte Quench primer. I have really dry skin right now because I am on Accutane. So, ooh, that came out really fast. Um, so it's nice to be super hydrated. Ooh, I love this. I'm pretty sure it does absolutely nothing, but I feel like it does something. So it's like one of my favorite. just makes me feel fresh. So now I am going to go in with the Laura Mercier foundation. It's the Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I'm just gonna paint it on. I'm gonna go over it one more time, but this time I'm gonna use a beauty blender. I really love this foundation because it, well, one, it matches my skin tone pretty perfectly. And it's like very lightweight and it's still kind of shimmery. So it's really great for people who have like really dry skin, which I do. Um, and then uh, for a foundation, or not foundation, <laughs> a concealer, I use the Fit Me, what is this, Maybelline? Yes, the Fit Me Maybelline concealer. I think this is the best concealer that has ever been made, literally ever, and it's a drugstore, so. I do not use anything else. It's also a bit too dark for me right now. Um, but you know what? It's fine. Okay, and then I'm just going to spot conceal now. Um, there's a little piece of dryness right there. Um, and then I have a little bit on this cheek also, so. I'm just gonna do I have the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder. I also really love this powder. I think it blends really seamlessly um, and it's pretty long lasting. Dab some on the brush. I like to pat it under my eyes just to make sure the makeup is staying in place. Okay, and then I'm going to bake just a little bit with this loose powder. So I'm gonna dip it into the beauty blender. And just put that right under my eyes like that. For contouring, I have, you can see how dirty this is. I've had it for 
think since high school and I'm a senior in college right now so it's been a good long while and I've used it a lot um so I like to use clearly you can see which colors that I use the most but I'm gonna go in with this color Now I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm going to put that on my lids. I've also had this for a very long time. You can see how filthy that cap is. was a tutorial I watched. Um, I know this is an old video, but Snitchery did it about how to make your eyebrows look like lifted. I might try that today. I haven't really decided yet, we'll see. Um, well, I guess I'll just try that now since eyebrows are kind of. Next, um, I use a eyeshadow palette to do my eyebrows. I use this Tarte palette and then I use the color activist so that one and i think it works pretty nice i think i actually haven't tried a um a paint pot is that what it's called a eyebrow pomade there we go i haven't tried one before but i really want to Hey babe, can you say anything different? Yeah. What? Um, your eyebrows look great. Is that all? And your eyeshadow's looking good. I don't have any eyeshadow on yet. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I did my eyebrow shape differently. Can you tell? See, I knew that your eyebrows were different, but I just, I wouldn't have been able to like say off the top, like, did you draw them on? Thick. <laughs> no. They're more, they're higher up? <laughs> yeah. I did, um, yeah, instead of like pointing the tail like down, mm -hmm. I kind of did like upward because it's kind of like a, well, was a trend, kind of is a trend, but does it look nice? Mm -hmm. It also gives you more area to do eyeshadow. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna go in with 
my Jaclyn palette. I'm going to try to do like a sunset look. It's gonna be a little bit difficult because I've never done it before. I have a really nice yellow and orange, <clears throat> but I really wanted like a pink or purple to tie in there to make it like really pretty. Um, and it doesn't look like I have a pink or purple in any other of my palettes. There is one purple shade in here, but it's a shimmer and I didn't super want to put a shimmer um, anywhere besides the inner corner, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm probably gonna start with like a light brown base. That is not brown. That's okay. Hey y'all, this is editing me. I don't know what happened, um, but at this point in the video, I just decided to stop talking to y'all. So I'm gonna just explain what I'm doing. So I'm still using the Jaclyn Hill palette that I showed y'all earlier. Um, and I'm going in with three different colors, um, a four technically. Um, the main three though, are the yellow one that you saw like, that I'm using in the inner corner, and then this bright orange one. Um, Jacqueline's palette colors have no names, uh, so I'm, yeah, just kind of blending. They're pretty noticeable. That yellow one that I'm using looks more like an orange in the pan, but on me, it's more yellow. So I'm just mixing it, the yellow and the orange, and I am going in in the outer corner with a purple, that purple shimmery I showed y'all earlier. Um... I honestly didn't really plan out what I was going to do <laughs> for this video. Um, I looked through some inspiration pictures and I saw something that was kind of pretty and I thought I would go with it. I really enjoyed using these colors, um, but it was really difficult to blend. I cut out probably like 30 minutes worth of blending this dang eyeshadow, I kid you not. So there's really no rhyme or reason. Obviously, I'm not professional makeup artist but I find that the more you blend the better it looks so I kind of just went in and out with uh the different colors different brushes because I didn't feel like washing them obviously between you know using them um so yeah we're just blending and blending and blending and then I also did go back into the inner corner and use like a shimmery gold color uh but yeah so after blending for about like 30 minutes, I moved on to um, highlighting, concealing under the eyebrow. I don't know what you would call that, but it just gives a little bit more definition to the eyebrow. And it also helped me kind of clean up some of that mess that I made with the eyeshadow. So I'm just patting it on with concealer and then with a lighter eyeshadow shade. So now I'm using a brush or brush, <laughs> a blush, hello, and patting that on, and then blending it out. So now I am going in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liquid Eyeliner. I know people hate her. I love that eyeliner. I couldn't part with it. I think she's owned by a different brand now. So now I'm doing mascara. After filming this video, I realized I never did my bottom lashes with mascara. I usually do. I did after the video, but yeah. And then I am putting lashes on. I wish I could tell you what lashes I'm using, but I honestly do not remember. Cannot remember for the life of me. I threw away the box I came in, so I have no idea where they're from. And then I'm using a... Uh, I used... A liner for my lips and then a lip gloss from morphe i'll maybe link the colors and stuff that i used but right now i can't be bothered to go find what i used <laughs> i'm laying in bed at like 
2 in the morning recording this. So now I'm using a highlighter uh, by MAC and just highlighting my cheeks and my nose. And then I did some highlighter, uh, highlighter underneath my eyebrows. Yeah, I filmed no type of outro for this video, so that's kind of the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. I had a lot of fun, and I hope to be doing videos more in the future. But yeah, I thought it came out really nice. It was fun. I had a lot. I got a lot of compliments on it. But yep, that's all. <laughs> Bye, guys.